You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Today we'll be talking about the Biofang UV82L and one very interesting feature of this radio. How many of you have ever been in a situation where you have two different radios or at least two different frequencies with two different groups of people that you need to communicate with independently? Well, the UV82L tries to solve this problem by introducing the dual push-to-talk. The dual push-to-talk gives the user a separate push-to-talk button for either VFO on the radio. Pushing PTTA activates transmission on VFOA. Pushing PTTB activates transmission on VFOB. This functionality is also enabled on the included headset, as well as on the optional speaker microphone. So who might find this functionality useful? Well, how about search teams, patrols, communities, or anyone else who needs to divide their comms between two different frequencies? The dual PTT has some obvious benefits. Well, to start, one radio, two posture talks, reducing comms fatigue, and no fumbling with the VFO on the radio or on the speaker mic when you're trying to change over. Reducing comms chatter. And finally, being able to prioritize your comms by frequency, by push to talk, without increasing your workload. Now, if you're one of those people who's just currently putting together their comms plan, and you're considering a UV5R or one of those variants, you may consider the UV82L as a viable alternative to those Biofang or POFO radios. Finally, I leave you with a shout out to RadioOddity.com. They've been kind enough to provide most of the radios and equipment you've seen in this series. So if you haven't done so already, please have a look at their website. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and help let other people know what we're doing with this channel. And with that, I say rock and roll. Thanks for watching.